okay here we have an oxford admission test okay and this test oh um, sorry this is not drawn to scale this is supposed to be a square okay a square of side one unit and um you have a, a hexagon a hexagon is actually a polygon of six sides one two one two three four five six so this is a hexagon an irregular hexagon okay with all sides of equal length so that means if this is x 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 and this is x as well and is they are what in this of equal length is placed inside a square of side length one as shown above all right so the question is asking what is the value of x so we are meant to find the value of one of the sides okay remember that the sides are equal now this looks somehow and um like i said this is not drawn to scale but this is supposed to be a square <laughs> supposed to be a square anyways all right now let's dive into the question first um this is big okay but let's cut off part of it and use it to solve this question so solution solution now if we cut off this part if we draw this part out let's draw it out if we do that we are going to have something like this let me quickly draw it um we'll have something like this okay this is what we have okay now remember that the whole of this the whole of this is one okay but from here to here is our x remember so this is x all right so we can label this side x as well that means this place is our x right now let us come back to this place if the whole of this length is one now remember that this side is also x right this is x that means that this remaining portion should be 1 minus x, okay? So we can call this place 1 minus x. So we label this place 1 minus x, okay? Now, similarly, the whole of this place, remember that this is supposed to be a square, right? So the whole of this line is 1, and this place is x. Remember, it's x. Yeah, it's part of the side of the hexagon. So it's X. Forget, um, pardon my drawing. So if this is X as well, that means this remaining portion is also 1 minus X, right? So that means that we can call here as well. This side is also 1 minus X. And remember that this is a right angle triangle. Okay, now that simply means that we can, we are using Pythagoras theorem, we can actually solve for X. Yes, remember the Pythagoras theorem states that when you have a right angle triangle, pardon me to draw this without a ruler. Now, if you have a right angle triangle, this is the hypotenuse, right? And this is A, Y, this is B. Now, according to the Pythagoras theorem, H squared is equal to A squared plus b squared that is the pythagoras theorem now back to our diagram that means that we can write that this x squared right is equal to one minus x squared plus one minus x squared yes now remember that a minus b all squared is equal to a squared minus two a b plus b squared so that means that we can write this as x squared is equal to one squared right minus two multiplied by one multiplied by x plus x squared okay yes then plus because this and this they are the same so actually this is what we are going to get so this is going to be plus one squared minus two multiplied by one multiplied by x plus x squared okay now we simplify that means x squared is equal to one squared is one minus two times x is minus two x plus x squared okay then plus one squared is one minus two x plus x squared okay now look at what we have here so we have x squared is equal to because this is addition so it won't affect whatever we have inside there so we open the brackets we have 1 minus 2x plus x squared 
plus 1 minus 2x plus x squared. Now it's time for us to collect like terms. If we collect like terms, then x squared is equal to 1 plus 1, right? Then minus 2x minus 2x. So we have minus 2x minus 2x. Then we have plus x squared plus x squared plus x squared plus x squared. Okay? So we have x squared is equal to 1 plus 1 will give us 2. Then minus 2x minus 2x will give us minus 4x. Then plus x squared plus x squared is plus 2x squared. Okay? All right. Now... Let us transfer the whole thing to this side and equate this to be equal to zero. Because if you look at what we have here, we are actually forming a quadratic equation. So let's arrange it very well. So if we transfer everything here, we have x squared, then plus 2x squared, we cross to become minus 2x squared, minus 4x, we cross to become plus 4x, and then plus 2, we cross to become minus 2. is equal to zero. So we have x squared minus 2x squared is going to be, sorry, now x squared minus 2x squared will give us minus x squared, right? Then plus 4x minus 2 is um equal to 0. Okay. Yeah. Now, let us multiply through by minus 1 in order to remove the negative sign. So if we do that, we have x squared minus 4x plus 2 is equal to 0. Now, this is what we have. Remember that this is a quadratic equation. So we can actually get the value of our x from here. But don't be too fast to leave yes, because we are going to get two values of x. And honestly, one of them is not a monk. So stay put and see how we are going to solve this. Now, when you look at this, you are going to solve this using the quadratic equation formula. Now, using the quadratic equation formula, we can say um, x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac, everything divided by 2a. From here, from here, our a is equal to the quotient of x squared, which is 1. Our b is equal to the quotient of x, which is minus 4. And our c is equal to our constant, which is 2. All right? Um, now, if we substitute these values into this, then we have x is equal to minus minus 4 will give us positive 4. Then plus or minus square root of b squared, that is minus 4 squared, minus 4ac, 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 2, right? Everything divided by 2 multiplied by 1. So our x then is equal to... 4 plus or minus the square root of minus 4 squared is 16 minus 4 times 2 is 8, right? Divided by 2. So we have that x is equal to 4 plus or minus square root of 8 divided by 2. Now, don't go anywhere, all right? Yes, because we are going to get two values of x here. And both of them are not equal, are not correct. One is wrong. And I would like you to watch to the end and see the wrong one. Okay? So, we have that the first value of x should be 4 plus square root of 8 divided by 2. Okay? And the second value of x is 4 minus square root of 8 divided by 2. Now, let us take a look at our diagram. Now, this is our diagram. All right, and according to this diagram, our x is less than one. Yes, because if from here to here is one, all right, and just portion part of it is x, so it simply means that x is less than one. X is less than one. All right, so that is a fact. Now we go back to the two answers we got. If you look at these answers now, you see x one is wrong. Yes, because four divided by two alone will give us two. Not talk of when you add something to this and then divide by 2. You are going to get a number that is greater than 1. So, x1 is rejected. Okay? 
we are going to reject x1 so this is not the solution that then means that definitely this is the solution for our x now let us simplify this further so we have x2 is equal to 4 minus square root of 8 divided by 2 okay so x2 is equal to remember that when you have a minus b over c this is equal to a divided by c minus b divided by c okay so that means that we'll write this as 4 divided by 2 minus square root of 8 divided by 2 okay so x2 or the second value of x is equal to when 4 divide is divided by 2 we have 2 minus now root 8 is same thing as square root of 4 multiplied by square root of 2 then we have divided by 2 right so x which is the real value of x now or the correct value of x is 2 minus now square root of 4 is 2 so we have 2 root 2 divided by 2 right divided by 2 okay now we have x2 is 2 minus now this will divide itself to give us 1 so we have minus root 2 so this becomes the value of our x very interesting right thank you so much for watching see you in my next video bye